you've been on the internet anytime recently, you've probably seen those songs that are played in 8D audio. What this means is it's like a stage and you're in the middle of a room and the sound is supposed to be playing around you in a circle with a lot of reverb on it. I'll play an example right now. This effect used to be pretty hard to do, but with the new plugin, it's pretty easy. So first, you're going to need the Ambio Orbit plugin from Sennheiser. Completely free, 25 megabytes you see right here. Uh, it's a binaural panner plugin. Basically, it just circles around your head like I showed you in the 8D audio example. And yeah, it's really easy to use in FL. So once you download it, it's going to come in a zip file. You're going to need to open up your zip file, extract it to any folder that you want. Me personally, I have a plugin folder on my hard drive right here. You can see the DLL file. So I just have it saved here. And then you can copy your path or just remember it. Go to your mixer. Click on another slot. More plugins. Manage plugins. And then here you're just going to click this folder with a plus. So it'll make you a new path. Then you just paste your path. And then hit select folder. Then once you do that, this is the part that I forgot to do. You have to click find installed plugins. And it's going to search that folder for the DLL. And then once you get it, you should see Ambio Orbit. I just clicked the star next to it so it's easier for me to find, but you don't have to do that. So I'll show you a quick example of what this plugin can do without any reverb on it. So here's just the beat I found on YouTube. So I'm gonna go to my master track and add the Ambio Orbit effect right here because I have the star, it appears right here, but you'll probably have to click more plugins. Then from here, you can play your beat and circle around here. So I'll show you an example of what it can do. You have 360 degrees of motion. You can make it play to your left, right, front, back. You can change the elevation. You can change the room surfaces like drapes, curtains, brick, drywall, and glass. You can change the reflection level and size. You can turn that off completely if you want. Change your clarity and width. So in this small free plugin, you can change a lot. But you know how the plugin works. You have to add the actual automation clip into the timeline. This is so that you don't have to move it by hand. You can just have it automatically doing it. So when you're working with a third party plugin like this, it's a little bit hard because you can't right click it like you can with the reverb. But what you can do is move it a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move it to, I'm going to move it from zero all the way to negative one. And I'm going to click the X. Then I'm going to go up to tools right here. Go to last tweaked and click create automation clip. Then I'm going to shorten it to about this much. See how this sounds. Move it. Move it bottom to up and then duplicate it. I'm going to see how this sounds. <laughs> That sounds good to me. It's definitely going quicker, but I like the sound of that for a fast paced beat. So then I'm gonna add some reverb. I'm just gonna go slot two, reverb two, turn up the wet, turn down the dry. For those of you who don't know, the wet is the reverb part of your track, the dry is the normal part of your track. So that's why you turn up the wet and turn down the dry. And then you don't even need to automate that at all. You just keep it and then that sounded. That's too much to me, so I'm gonna turn down the wet a little more. If you have any questions or projects that you wanna show me, let me know down below and I'll check them out.